Come up short, you now watching Rap About TV. Spill. On me. I'm waiting on the sale. I know she fed up with me. I sent her through hell. She threatened to leave. I tell her to stay. What I told her, I stopped doing. I did it today. I'm trying to change. I'm in love with the streets. When my mama was gone, they supported the G. Welcome back, everybody. It's your homie Ab Judah. Here with the Spill Gang aficionado himself, man. Mr. Come Up Shorty. What's good with you, brother? Good, bro. I'm good, man. How are you? Great. We got this new segment we started. Last week, called this or that. Okay. So I'm gonna let you hit. I'm gonna hit you with some of these joints. See where your head at. All you gotta answer is, is, is two, one or two, two or three options. Just right. pick one, whichever best fits you. You gonna go call or text? Call uh, what? Just period. But I prefer call or text. Call. Super Bowl or NBA Finals? Finals. Chipotle or Chick Fil A? Chipotle. Yeah. Snow or rain? Rain. Kim K or Amber Rose? <laughs> Amber. Boy shorts or thongs? Oh, boy shorts. My type of guy. Skittles or Starburst? The new ones or the old ones? The old joints, the classics. Starburst, but only, only the pink jumps. Oh, yeah. See, you can't do that. Oh, you can't she do that? that. A Skittles day. Uh, like Skittles. <laughs> Martin no bro, Fresh Prince. Martin. Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? What's the jump though? The old yeah, jump? Oh, not the new show. Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. Bungie, That's not how to Bungie jumping or skydiving? Shit. Skydiving, man. Fly me in. <laughs> Leather or denim? God damn. Just... Jackets? Yeah, we can do jackets. Yeah. Leather. Right. The Simpsons or Family Guy? Simpsons, man. That's no plan. Paper or plastic? Paper. Cook out or pool party? Black people pool party or white people pool party? We black, so let's go black people pool party. Cook out. Oh, yeah. Black people don't get in the pool with the pool party. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese or Ita uh, Italian food? My most saw is Chinese. Hey, man. Action or drama? Movies. Action. 7 Eleven or Wawa? 7 Eleven. Stone Cold or The Rock? Man, Stone Cold be drunk as shit. <laughs> the Rock, The Rock. <laughs> From a U4 to a big truck, from a slow strip to the fast buck. I was in the hood when it switched up. Bitch niggas got bitched up. Still, I held my own ground with no help. I held it down. We got another game we like to play called Glory Hole. <laughs> That's wild <laughs> shit, man. You gotta put your hand in the hat. You gotta pick 10 questions to answer them truthfully and honestly, man. Hey. Once you're done, just throw them on the table. Yeah, let's do it. I gotta read the question too? Yeah, read it out loud. Man, how far away from your birthplace do you live, man? Shit, a couple miles. Mm -hmm. Had to get about the hood, man. What? Would you ever consider living in a foreign country? Nah, I visit. I won't live there. Mm -hmm. Water fuck you up. <laughs> foreign countries are bright. What kind of car do you... Well, what kind of car do you want to drive? I need that Ashton, man. Mm. That shit flash, I got that spill. Tell me something about you that most people don't know. Shit, I used to play the violin when I was a kid. Niggas don't even know that. Man, that's I got tough. that musician spill, nigga. That's tough. Get your Roslyn game up. Do you remember your dreams? If so, what was the last one? 
I don't know, man. I remember some of my last dream probably was on some weird shit, though. Like, like some weird shit. I don't know. <laughs> You ever had a dream that you try to go back and get back into it and you, it ain't there? That no shit never worked. So I don't know. Really know. This came first, chicken or the egg? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I think the egg came and the chicken came out the egg. Man, ain't no answer to that question. Yeah, that shit's crazy. <laughs> ain't no answer to that, man. Yeah. <laughs> what? Get six. Last time you swam in the pool, Shit, last time I swam, it was like last week I do that shit for a workout. Mm. I can't swim for shit. Yeah, I don't know how to swim, but I know how not to drown. That's what I say, yo. <laughs> I know how not to drown, man. <laughs> if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Anywhere in the world? I don't know, man. That's a tough question, though. Because I ain't really traveled the whole world yet, so I really can't even get into that. That's true shit. What we got? That's seven, eight? That's seven, eight. You got two more. When was the last time you laughed out loud? Shit, just a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> last one. What are some of the different jobs that you have had in your life? <laughs> some wild <laughs> shit. Different jumps. Shit, I remember I had a summer jump back in the day. Doing some filing shit. With, I had this fat ass was supervisors, man. She was old, but she was fat as shit. I used to love going to that job, like 15, filing paperwork for the summer check. You love going to work, man. Love going to work. And they flipping that shit, but that's another story. Yeah, that's another story. <laughs> One another day, man. But let's get into this music, man. Let's do it. So you wanting me like I want you. Right. Don't be scared with all of that won't and do. I know I fucked your friend and it's so wrong that you curious about fucking too. But she ain't gotta know a damn thing It ain't like we together But if I told her how I feel about you right now Would you feel at least halfway better? No risk, no reward How you feel about that project? I feel good about the project Now this this being your first, your introductory Your introduction, you know what I'm saying, on a broader scale To, the, to your audience How do you feel like they accepted the project? You know what I'm saying, what you feel like that? The embrace is like I mean, from from the vibe that I be getting from the, from the streets, like when I'm out in the club, you know what I'm saying? I be feeling good when people coming to me like, yeah, man, I heard your joke, man. Shit right, man. Right. I'm, I, quality street music, like nobody was really giving that up. Like everybody running around, killing 30 people on one track. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't want to hear that all the time, man. Like, if you want to talk about like, talk about the real side. Like, people was lacking that. Right. So I just gave it to like, the people that's in the streets and doing whatever they got to do. Just, just give them that. Just give them the real part, too. So, it was like, cool. Like, for everybody who's been embracing the jump, um, I'm getting a lot of good feedback on the jump, so I feel good about it. How many how many uh, visuals y'all got shot done? How many y'all got shot so far? Uh, three. Three. Okay. Yeah. What, what records? Um, Run the Streets, mm -hmm. featuring Sherelle Rowe, uh, 40 Points, and Same Nigga featuring uh, Crazy the Showstopper. Okay. Uh, what's the title? What did that mean to you? Like, how you how you come up with that title? Why you picked that? No risk, no rewards. Yeah, I mean it's like self-explanatory. Like, if you don't take the risk, you don't get no rewards. That's just in life, period. Mm -hmm. Like, even even people they go for all different walks of life. Like, if, even if you're in school, you're taking your chance, you're going to college, right. you're taking that risk, you gotta pay that money back. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta take the risk to get the reward. Yeah. If, if 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 you out doing your one two, you gotta, you get on the road to go get the better number. You taking that risk to get your reward. If you if you're in the gym, if you're boxing, you know what I'm saying? You got to be in the gym. Every day, you might, gotta, you might just got to leave everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you're taking your risk and, and putting your time and investing in yourself. That's a big risk. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So no risk, no reward. It's just it's self explanatory The bigger the risk, the bigger the check anyway. Yeah, damn yeah, right. Now explain like a little bit. Of, we go back and explain a little bit of your history, how you started with the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who influenced you to get into the music. You know um, what I'm saying? Music, man. Music been a part of my life since I was a kid. Like coming up in uh, D.C., War 7, the North East Side, they did a little project with us, gave us a, uh, put a magnet school in, in the hood. So in the magnet school, we had a chance to um, do different things, like with the music mm -hmm. and all that. That's where Man Fest, the big fella connected that. Okay. So like like I said, we came up playing violin, because you had to play that first right. before you get into anything. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So 
violin to the drums, to different instruments. So music always been a part of my life. Mm -hmm. And then when you just start putting the words to it, like one day I was in like fourth grade class, just like just writing. This in the back in the fourth grade, like man, that shit, shit was all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just been doing it, but really started taking it serious. Like probably got to middle school. You know what I'm saying? And then we started doing little open mics. We was young niggas in the open mics back at the Spot Club. Um, then we started doing other little shit, and just, people just started getting the vibe. So I've been doing music for a long time. So y'all was into it early, because I know at yeah. one point that rap shit wasn't really working out here. It was just nah. strictly go go. Yeah, but we been like we like we was doing rap when no one even when they wasn't even cool to do that shit. Yeah. So but like fast, fast, stay, fast, stay with it. You stay focused with it. You know what I'm saying I can't say that about my bro. You stay focused with it. I, I came back into it. Cause I, Cause I seen, I wanted to take my time, I want to get serious about it. Right. You know, so, you know somebody keeps telling me, man, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You, you can do it, man, go ahead and do it. And then you be like, man, you know what? I'd rather do it one time and, and if it don't, if it it don't succeed, work, it don't work. Well, at least yeah. I did it. Right. So fuck it, I'm here. So who was y'all listening to back then, you know what I'm saying, on the rap side? Man, me, see, I'm a different type of nigga, man. Everybody, like, I, I was on my West Coast shit, mm -hmm. Yuck Mile. Okay. E-40, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Rest in peace to the jacket, that's my man too, man. The dude, like people don't even know, like um, when Yuck had that that, that beef with uh with Fifty, no, nah, it was Game. He shot that video that that shot that video in my neighborhood. Dang. You know what I'm saying? So I was listening to different people, Face, Pop, always, but I was like more on that West Coast music. That's why my style be kind of different. Uh, I wasn't really never into it. I was fucking with the Go Go, but I really want to go into the Go Go's like that. Right. I like when they play the songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like the music. Right, the right, soccer right, shit, right. that shit used to kill. Me. I'm like, man, it's time to get the fuck out. Of here. <laughs> Yeah. You wasn't rocking with the with the with the east the east coast like that. Nah, cause they ain't really had nothing for me. It's like they was they was doing it, but they was like rapping. Oh, yeah. I really wanted with the rapping. I was more like with the, with the, the feel. Yeah, the yeah, feel. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you throwing that west coast shit. That shit make you make you feel like you're in a different space. Right. So I'm already on the east coast. So you, you have you been out there and get a chance to, to to go out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, matter of fact, um, I say I'm a, I'm an Oakland fan too. So I went out there when we got our first win against Kansas City. That shit was big. Shit felt like the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my nigga, that shit felt like the Super Bowl. That shit was crazy. Well, yeah, I've been out there a couple of times, LA and in the Bay Area. How you like it out there? Is it is it to remind you of the feel of the music? Yeah, hell yeah. So you see yeah, all, yeah. That, all that music came to that shit. I, 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 I can see where that should be coming from. Mm -hmm. The cool side and the real side. Right. So that should be all right. You, are you a fan of any of the new the new artists that's out, whether it be from this area or on the national level? Uh, I, I, I respect anybody that's on their hustle. You know what I'm saying? Whether I like the music or not, I respect the hustle first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's a lot of young dudes around here running around getting a little bag right now. I respect that. I'm not really too big fans of their music because they ain't really talking about what I want to talk about, what I want to listen to. Right. They killing too many people in their raps. I'm like, no, they don't. But they cool, though. I respect their hustle, though. You know what I'm saying? Killing too many people in their raps. Yeah, That's an issue. I don't like that either, man. It ain't because it ain't real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't, it ain't real. You ain't wake up and kill 40 people. Yeah, that's, that should be Go crazy, to the studio. And then. Some of that shit, that should be sounding good. Sounds good lyrically, but when you think about it, like, my nigga, stop and beat a kid. Yeah, you she gotta cut it out, man. But yeah, I, I respect their hustle, though, so I'm gonna leave it like that. I respect a lot of niggas' hustles out here. All right. Now, uh, when you look back at the project and the process, is there anything that you would have changed or, or switched up or a record you would have put on there or something you would have, you know, a feature um, that you wanted to grab, anything like that? The only thing, to be completely 100, the only thing, it wasn't a rush process, but I didn't really get the right. I didn't really get the right mix, the right mix that I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just so much, it was like, I got to put it out. Put it just, just let it go out. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's probably the only thing I would have changed. Anything else was cool. I sat down with the project for like two months, mm -hmm. just going over shit. Mm -hmm. I was happy with the song selections, the features. Other than that, it's just the mix. That's about it. Trap suit, catch me in the trap, in my trap suit, trap suit, banging in the trap, every day and all night I might break a couple laws, got it on all week, ain't changing nothing but my drawers, in my trap suit, trap suit, catch me in the trap, in my trap suit, trap suit, banging in the trap, every day and all night I might break a couple laws, got it on all week, ain't changing nothing but my drawers. Alright, now, after y'all do the, uh, the spill game compilation. Mm -hmm. 
what do you see for yourself, you know, specifically? Like, what are your, what's your goals? Who do you, you know what I'm saying, pattern? Or who do you, what, who career do you, you know what I'm saying, see yourself growing into? Like, this is where I want to be at. This is the position I want to be in. I just want to be on top. So whoever, whoever on top right now, that's where I want to be at. Mm -hmm. So it's like whatever. I ain't gonna say whatever, because some people do some weird shit to get to the top. Yeah. I ain't with that weird shit. So, but like, as far as just being on the ground, whatever it takes to get there, like no days off. Right. So that's that's eventually where I want to be at. That's where everybody want to be at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I'm, that's my name, Come Up Shorty, because you can never stop coming up. It's all about the come up. Even when you get like, you make a thousand, you want 10,000. You make 10,000, you want 100. You make a million, you want a billion. So, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the come up. And that's, that's just what I plan to do, just keep coming up. That's what it is. That's how you got that name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, explain how, you, how your history and your background growing up in the city, mm. how, that, how you put that into your music. Or you, you know what I'm saying, stories of your childhood or I mean, that shit easy stories in general. Just like like I like I like I be telling people if that's how people that's how people have longevity in like in their careers, like like a Jeezy or, or a God, you can hear because if you've been doing what you've been saying, you've been like if you live a certain life for X amount of years, mm -hmm. you gonna have millions of stories. Your stories that never get old because you did something different right. every year, right. every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? So people that don't be having no good longevity is because they, they start out welling, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If y'all know what welling is, DC term means you lying like a motherfucker. Right. So you ain't got to, you can't tell, you can't be consistent with your story because you ain't lived enough of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like that's that's just easy for me because like when you really live it, all you gotta do is take your mind back to a to a childhood scene, put it to work, and there you go. Like, it ain't not hard about that when you really lived it. It's just easy. Now, do you plan on getting a little bit more personal with with the records? Uh, you know, saying giving people a little bit more, you know, input into your life, give, giving them a better outlook. Yeah, I mean, when, when, when they see this, give me a break, John. They they won't really know that shit was real personal for me. Yeah. Um, running streets, that shit was personal. Cause they, cause everybody go through that. Um, I just had to tell the female and the male side point of view on that, John. For the women that got the street hustlers, they don't want them to go out. The, the nigga like, man, I gotta go get this bag. Right. You always right. complain about ain't no money, but you want the bag. You know what I'm saying? So all this should be personal. Like a, a lot of my songs is, come from real life. You know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes, even, even if it's not my life, it might be something that I've seen yeah. coming up for my partners that can't rap. Right, but I've been with them since day one. So right. I'll be telling their story too. That's all it is about me. I just want my story to be told. Now, if you could, if you couldn't do music, what else would you be doing? If I couldn't do music. music. Music wasn't even in the pictures. There's something else that you, you want to be doing to make some some bread. Nah, I like the acting part. I like the acting part too. For real? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm actually into that right now. And I'm on, and I'm on this web series called Transitions. Mm. Yeah, so be looking out for that. Trans is our, is our, I started putting them out already? Yeah, yeah, they already out now. Transitions. Look, look, look forward to that. A um, couple guys on there. Uh, Big G here on there. That's the big fella. Uh, Trey Cheney. Mm. Um, it's a couple. It's, 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 it got a good cast on there. How long y'all been shooting that for? Like, we been shooting it for um, a little bit over a year. It, it, it was gonna be a movie, but then they, um, the director and the, the producer, um, shout out to Han, he um, he wanted to break it down to two different little, little episodes right. and just make it a series. So it's like the DC version of the Y. Oh, shit. So it's cool. How, how often y'all put them out? Um, they just start putting them out. Then they drop them every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Yeah. So you can go on there, hashtag transition series. Damn, I ain't think pop up. Damn. So you really you really into it? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm all the way in. I'm all the way into it. How long you been how long have you, you been doing that? I mean, was you doing it before the, the series? Uh kinda like like I've been doing that since I was a kid. Like I said, like when we had the magnet school. Right, you did a little early. So it was just like Everything, man. You want to tap, tap. You want to do this, and then they like we used to have these shows at uh, HD Wilson, little showcase, not showcases, but like big plays, like a whole, like some Broadway type shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we've been on stage for years. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. just never knew that it was grooming us to do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that shit was real. But, um, yeah, I've been, been doing that. I always had a little passion for acting anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you know that back then? Like, I like this shit. Or is this something that you came into like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of, because like, like you try to get in your little rope, that shit was getting me out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you going in, you got 
Will to your mother and shit. Like, man, do this role. So really, you been acting. You right. just ain't even know you was doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now for the people that's going that's going to check for you after this interview, that's that want to know a little bit more about you. Where can they go as far as you know your websites and your social media and all that? I'm on all that. Um, IG, Twitter, Facebook, everything is going to come up shortly. Uh, but if you if you want to get right into it, you go to my website, Mr. Fifty Eight Fifty Eight dot com. Uh, Mr. Five Eight Five Eight with an S on the end, Mr. Fifty Eight Fifty Eight dot com. All the links right there. Check me out on the new web series Transitions. Um, yeah, Mr. 5858.com. Yeah.